Is the letter Z the new swastika? This is Russian gymnast Ivan Kolyak. Ivan is facing disciplinary action from the International Gymnastics Federation. But why? Because he wore this war insignia. It's the letter Z. Increasingly, Z is becoming a symbol of support for the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The letter was first spotted on Russian tanks and military trucks near the Ukrainian border. Not just Z, there was also O, X, A and V on the vehicles and military hardware. There are multiple theories doing the rounds on what the inscription of these letters could imply. One theory claims that Z stands for Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, while V stands for Vladimir Putin. Curiously, neither the letter Z nor V exists in the Cyrillic Russian alphabet. Another claim is that the letters have been marked on Russian tanks to avoid friendly fire and it helps Russian troops identify each other. However, no definite explanation on what the letters stand for has been provided. The use of the letter to draw national support for the war began soon after the invasion. Russia's state-backed media organization RT announced to sell t-shirts and hoodies with the letter Z. This is to show support for Russian troops. People have been spotted flashing the symbols across the country and on social media. Flash mobs also appeared across Russia wearing clothes with the letter Z on them. These flash mobs are believed to have been organized by authorities as part of propaganda. Even schools are reportedly getting children to stand in Z formations. And so Russian gymnast Ivan Kolyak was also seen spotting the Z symbol on his outfit at the World Cup event. He was standing next to gold medalist Ilya Kovton of Ukraine on the medal podium. The International Gymnastics Federation confirms that it will ask the Gymnastics Ethics Foundation to open disciplinary proceedings against Kuliak following his shocking behaviour at the Apparatus World Cup. Now, many on social media are comparing the Z with the swastika. Swastika is a symbol of Hitler's Nazi Germany. And there's a catch. Russia is the country that suffered Nazi Germany's onslaught and it is now using the same tactics. The irony gets deeper with Putin calling for denazification of Ukraine. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.